Like many Canadians, I've suffered from atopic dermatitis since I was a baby, as long as I can remember. Um, and the general population, especially people that don't suffer from AD, they, they really don't realize the effects that it has on our self-esteem and our mental health. What are some of the other ways AD can affect a, a patient's mental health? So I think the other thing that's important to mention is sleep loss and the impact on long-term sleep loss in particular. So for example, if someone is very itchy at night or they're having red inflamed itchy skin, painful skin and they're scratching, I've had patients tell me that they're scratching so hard that they find blood on the bed in the morning. And that, you know, that can impact people the next day, whether they're at school or they're at work, you know, can lead to tiredness, difficulty focusing. Um, and as you mentioned, even just basic things like, you know, we think, oh, let's go exercise, let's go to gym class. But if your skin is, is active, you know, that can really stop somebody from living those daily life activities. Rachel, that's such a good point about sleep and the connection um, to, to mental health. When you don't sleep, uh, and this is from personal experience related to my AD, it, it can affect so many things. I remember when I was a, a kid in school, uh, I had the hardest time focusing because of that relentless scratching at night and I just couldn't get a handle on it and it really did affect the studies. And even as an adult now, if I don't have a good night's sleep because of scratching, you know, it affects everything in my entire day. So um, I still think there's this huge disconnect uh, and there's a stigma to understand just how much atopic dermatitis can affect the patient's condition. And it's not just physical, it's so much more. Thank you again, Julia, for sharing your personal experience. You know, this is something I experience on a daily basis and I'm so happy that we're able to start this conversation and um, go beyond the skin, I guess, in that sense. So thank you for having me.